begin this morning now with a story you saw first on 12 as breaking news Friday here on Eyewitness News this morning. A shooting suspect captured after an hours long standoff in an Attleboro neighborhood due in court later today. Now we're learning more about the charges that he's facing. Eyewitness News reporter Andrew Adamson is tracking those developments now live from Attleboro District Court. Andrew? Yeah, that's right, Daniel and Patrick. We are here outside of the Attleboro District Courthouse where we are expecting that suspect to appear later today on a number of charges. Take a look at this picture right here obtained by Eyewitness News. This is 19 year old Richard Galliott. He's facing a number of charges, including assault with a dangerous weapon with an intent to murder. On Friday, SWAT teams and armed police locked down an Attleboro neighborhood for seven hours while searching for Galliott. Police say Galliott shot a man near his home on Jackson Street around for that morning. A standoff ensued after the suspect barricaded himself in the triple decker. Police were eventually able to safely get in and arrest Galliott with the help of snipers stationed across the street at a neighbor's home. We had a sniper unit from SWAT come up and say, you know, we would like to actually use your apartment as a vantage point um, for both our safety and yours. And I said, okay, you know, it's, do whatever you need to do. Police were back in that neighborhood investigating over the weekend. Now, as for the shooting victim, they're currently being treated at Rhode Island Hospital. Coming up, we're going to hear from another neighbor who says that this was like a movie during the standoff. For now, live at the Southeastern Massachusetts Mobile Newsroom, Andrew Adamson, Eyewitness News.